One of the things we should really try to do in woodworking is to bring young woodworkers into the hobby. And a great way to do that is to start with a simple project like a birdhouse. That's what we're going to do today. So I've got help in the shop today. What's your name, kid? George. George what? Your son. Oh, you've got the same name as me. Isn't that weird? So this is little George. He's uh, 12 years old, sixth grader this year, seventh grader next year. So he's going to actually work on the birdhouse with us. And what we want to do is a couple things here. Let me talk through the birdhouse parts itself. We're making a house for tree swallows. Do you like swallows? I guess so. They're pretty acrobatic, huh? Fly around the yard. What do they do that's good for us so that we don't get mosquito bites? They eat mosquitoes. Yeah, they eat a lot of bugs. So they're cool to watch. They eat a lot of bugs. Let's encourage them to live here so that they eat those bugs for us. The tree swallow house is really simple. And the entire thing is made from a cedar one by six. So it's nice, again, working with kids, it's real easy to produce the parts. We're gonna have three pieces that are nine inches long. That's these three. Then another piece that makes up the bottom. That's four inches long. Then another piece that makes up the roof. That's seven and a half inches long. And then a final piece for the back that's 13 inches long. So everything easily comes out of an eight foot piece of cedar. You can just cut the stuff right off the shelf from a home center. My preference is run it through a table saw if you can and do a rip to make sure they're all exactly the same width. That makes things a little bit easier. You don't have to do it. The other thing we want to do is make sure that we get this put together with the correct glue. Of course, where do birdhouses live, inside or outside? Outside. Is it going to get rained on? Yes. Yes, sir. So we should probably have a good waterproof glue for that. So I'm going to use a waterproof glue. The other thing I like about this is this particular glue is also FDA approved for food applications. So not because we're going to eat the birds, but because we want to make sure the birds are safe inside the house. So if it's good enough for assembling food related items, it's good for a birdhouse. All right. So that's enough talk. Let's get this woodworking part done. One of the nine inch pieces is the front here, Georgie. So first thing to do is make a mark six inches up from the bottom. That would be you. And then we want to divide this whole thing in half that way. So make a mark at two and a quarter inches or so up on top by your other one. And then just make a little, whoop, did we do that right? Two and three quarters, sorry buddy. Who's teaching this thing? That works better. That looks like the middle. So we're gonna drill a hole right where those marks come together. Now if we just drill a hole through the back of this and that bit comes blasting out, what do you think will happen to the wood? It'll tear up. Yep, and we don't want the birds to get hurt when they go in and out. So this is gonna go in the vise just like that. Can you do that part? Clamp it vertically in the vise. Just pull. Righty tighty. For this particular bird, you drill a one and a half inch hole. When you do a birdhouse, it's really important you do the right size hole for the bird. So this is called a Forstner bit, and you just put the center of the bit right on the mark that you made. I'm going to go all the way through. Perfect. Are you bored? The hole is bored. All right. That can come out of there. <clears throat> We're done with this piece for now. Now in the bottom, what might birds do when they're inside the birdhouse? Hmm. 
They might peg stuff. They might peg stuff. Might there be body wastes? Yes. They might pee in there. So we want to have drainage holes so that stuff can go through the bottom. So just drill four holes, one kind of by each corner. We do that with a quarter inch bit so that any moisture that ends up in there can come out and we'll go through that into the waste board. Good. We don't need to ventilate the workbench just to come in a little bit like where my finger is without doing my finger. There you go. You stay there. Perfect. All right, now we can finally start putting it together. The front is going to go on the side just like this. But if we only nail it and we don't glue it, that might not hold. So start by putting a little bead of glue on there. Wow, this ain't your first rodeo. You have glued before. We're going to put it together with what are called four penny galvanized box nails. You can get these at a home center and we're just going to hand drive the whole thing. You could use a pneumatic nailer, but working with a kid, it's nice to nail some of this stuff by hand. If we start like this, it might be hard to hold and nail. So let's start the nails with this thing on the bench. So right about there, just push that in with your hand. No, I'm joking, you use a hammer. Okay, other one at the top, and kind of stay away from the knot because that's going to give us trouble. So down, there you go. All right, now make the, we'll make the tops nice and even, the sides nice and even, and finish her off. All right, next thing we want to do is get the other side on here, but this side is going to pivot so it can open and close. So we're going to hold this one down a little bit like that and get a nail about there. Why do you think that one's got to pivot to open and close? So that they can get out? <clears throat> They're going to get out through there. Hmm. What do we probably have to do once a year or so? Put food in there? No, we got to clean junk out of there because they, if they make a nest, we got to get that out later. All right, I'm going to glue it. You spread it. Next step, we'll nail the bottom in, very similar to what we've already done. Two nails in the front, two nails in the side. Nice. Now the back goes on, when we do the back, can't glue this side because that's the one that's got to pivot so we can clean the old nests and stuff out of there. 
Go ahead and do the bottom and the side. Ready, Jackson? Look at the trust, how close my thumb is to where you're nailing. You can spread it more toward the, yep. One more, good one. And then a couple in the bottom. There. So now when we do this other top, remember we want that side to pivot. So on this side, we're going to do just a single nail and that acts as a hinge point up there. All right, George. Go out toward the outside a little bit. Yep. Nice. And then the top. So now you can do glue and glue, but no glue on that part. And we'll put a little glue on the end there. What did you do with my brush? Oh, I gave it to you, didn't I? Yes. All right, a couple nails to go. There. And about there. Couple into the side. One more there. All right, now our only other thing is that we want this to open when we want it to open, but we don't want it to just flap around because the birds ain't going to dig that at all. So we want to put a nail in here that's going to act as a pin and hold that closed, but we want to be able to get it out when we want to get it out. So a good trick for this is pre-drill a hole using a nail. So I'm going to cut the head off of a nail, and we'll chuck the nail itself in a drill. Now use the nail to drill a hole right about there. Yep. 
and then tap a nail in there, but don't make the head go all the way down because we want to be able to grab the head and yank it back out. Good. What do you think? It's cool. Ready for a for rent sign? I guess. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a great little project to do with kids. George here's a Boy Scout. It'd be a great thing to take to the Boy Scout troop or a Girl Scout troop, have them work with you to make a bunch of birdhouses put out for the tree swallows to live in. Did you have fun? Yes. Did you learn anything? <clears throat> yes. Did you learn that your dad tells stupid jokes? I uh, guess. <laughs> you already knew that, though. All right, check it out and build a bunch of birdhouses on your own. Bring a kid into the picture, you're going to have a blast.